Now, I was looking at the 40 Strong program and kind of looking at it, what kind of caught my eye was, you know, the different types of training that you focus in on. So, yeah. you know, it's not just one type of training that you look at doing. You end up That's doing right. like a, a variety of training. And maybe you can kind of talk about that because if you kind of look, if I look back at like what I did in the 20s, my 20s, it was a lot of the bodybuilding stuff because that's right. just what that's what we knew at that time and that's what everyone else was doing so you just followed everyone else sure but looking at the 40 strong program you kind of cover a variety of training methodologies and maybe kind of explain that and why sure i think what happens is it, it when we are younger we're you know, very young as kids we're doing a little bit of everything right we're running we're playing soccer maybe we're uh, we're doing track and field. Maybe we're playing baseball or football or hockey, or and we're we're moving the body in all sorts of ways. And as as we get older, maybe into our twenties, if we're not participating in, in organized sports anymore, we start to kind of narrow that that movement, and we start to just find maybe that one thing that we can stick with that gets us active. You know, so maybe it's running for some people. Other people, maybe it's just weights. Uh, other people, maybe they just participate in some kind of, you know, organized, you know, bas you know three time a week basketball league or something like that. Right. And that's great. It's awesome. But what happens is then our body just, you know, gets used to that one type of, of movement, pat uh, those movement patterns. And that's it. And we get stale. And so if all we're doing is sitting most of the day and then we go to the gym and do weights for an hour, that's great. But it's not getting out and running and 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 moving the body in all kinds of ways. So what we did with 40 Strong was we we really looked at like trying to almost take what you did as a, as a kid and what you enjoyed as a kid and kind of merge it with you know whatever you found as a young adult that you did for exercise as well and trying to you know kind of uh, give you some some certainly variety and some choices with these things, but mixing it up so that almost every day is something a little bit different that's waking up the body and moving the body in different ways. So you're having mobility days, you're having a, a, a light conditioning day, a more intense conditioning day, you're having a, a, a strictly kind of bodybuilding day, you're having a day where it's just kind of like a, a flex day where just go out and do something active with your family that could be a bike ride. It could be a walk. It could be, you know, anything fishing, you know, anything that's just, you know, doing something physical. That's it might be easy or simple, but it's it's something it's not being lazy. And I think the variety of things uh, uh, to do is what keeps it really interesting, keeps it fresh, keeps it fun, keeps it from being stale. But you're still always getting at least a, a little bit of what you've kind of what you've been clinging to for the last 20 years as your kind of one go-to exercise, like that's still part of the mix, you know? And uh, so we're trying to just broaden people's, you know, uh, activity, uh, you know, uh, or, or, or form of activity really Perfect. is what it comes down to. Cool. Cool. And then maybe, uh, maybe you can kind of explain to people like what is 40 strong and, and how it can end up helping them. What is 40 strong? Okay, well, 40 strong is a, it's a combination of, if, you know, because the, the, the mind and the body are obviously intertwined. And we, we've, we've done stuff like this in the past with Critical Bench where the, when the two are in a good place, that's when you get really good results. And so being 40 strong is being strong in kind of all areas of your life because if you're if you're happy with the the physical element uh you know if you're happy with you know every day you're you're doing this or you're doing that and you have a good plan it's going to bleed into other forms of your life you're going to probably do better at work because your energy levels are going to be better you're probably going to sleep better at night because you know when we're more active and when we're you know in helping our metabolism and we're eating cleaner, we're sleeping better at night. So it's kind of just 40 strong. It's just, you know, you're hitting that kind of crucial crossroads uh, of your life and you're kind of 
using all of that wisdom and all of that experience and turning it into something that's really going to benefit just how you approach life and how you feel. Uh, so it's not just purely about you know lifting weights, doing push-ups and pull-ups. It's more than that. It's it's you know going going getting out and running with your kids, playing soccer, and and getting that element of play back into exercise because you know children don't think of exercise as exercise. They think of it as playing, and they do it every day, and they do it for hours. And you you some of them just are like like they got batteries, right? They just can't stop. And wouldn't it be great to have just a, a touch of that as as older people, as as adults, to bring that kind of playground feel back into like what we're doing uh, for activity every day? Perfect, perfect. Now that yeah. ends up being all of my questions. Now, did you? Is there something you want to leave people with, or is there a question that I didn't ask you that you would have liked me have asked to have I mean, asked you? I, I, you know, I, I have a tendency to try to kind of just take a small question and just talk about it for several minutes. So I probably hit on just about everything I could possibly say. Uh, just that, you know, getting older doesn't just mean you're going to get fatter and you're going to get weaker. Um, and, and I think a lot of people just throw in the towel or give up. And uh, it's because again, they don't see those results as quickly as maybe they did in their teens and twenties, uh, and maybe even early thirties to some to some extent. Things do change. Our our biology is changing, right? Every year as we get older, our hormones and everything are. So we need to adapt, and we need to adapt with how we go about moving our bodies. We just have to be a little bit more thoughtful, and I think that that best thing. That can be said is just that that warm up and that mobility and stuff and just that really for me is made it makes all the difference in the world. A workout with doing that stuff before it and a workout without doing that, that's when I get my strains and my pains and stuff and my performance is really, really bad. When I just start to try to push myself at eighty to hundred percent and my body's just not ready for it. When I was 20, there was it was just go. You just go. But when you're 40, it, it doesn't work like that. And not for most. There are there are some warriors out there that can just, you know, that, that's not who we're really talking to necessarily. We're talking to the most people, ordinary uh, people who who their body needs that um, needs needs to be primed and it needs to be moved every day. That's the key too. You know, you you just have to move every day. You can't have those days where you're just sitting for all day. You know, get out and walk to lunch. Get out and walk and get a cup of coffee. You know, go out and walk for 15 minutes on your lunch break just and have a, have some water and go back to work. You know, just that alone can can help change a lot of things. Perfect. And yeah. then, Chris, where can people get more information about you and Critical Bench? Of course. Well, uh, criticalbench.com, of course, the website. Uh, you can go to facebook.com slash criticalbench uh, for, I mean, we'll be posting about this all day, every day. Uh, you can go to youtube.com slash criticalbench for videos all about 40 strong and men over 40, workouts over 40. And then, of course, you have criticalbench.com slash 40 strong. Awesome, and that uh, that it's an it's amazing, and just reading through that, I think will really kind of get everybody, you know, on board very fast with with what we're uh, what we're trying to do. Perfect. So, yeah. thank you very much for your time, Chris. Absolutely happy to happy to be part of it, Rick. No worries. Thank you, everyone at ExercisesForInjuries.com. Hope you enjoyed the interview. Now make sure to swing by ExercisesForInjuries.com. Enter in your injury or pain. There's a good good chance of an article, video, or an interview that'll help you overcome your injury or pain. So this is Rick Casselge with Coach Chris saying, take care and bye bye. And that goes hand in hand with watching the weight on the scale. What ends up happening is again you're neglecting what's actually happening to your body composition okay so i think it's far more important to focus on proper nutrition 